Backwoods Edge, Evan Tackett here with Pro Staff Dealing Right. We are currently in the process of boiling my buck skull for a European mount. Today we're going to try and do a hydro dipped European mount. So hopefully we can record it and give you all an idea of how it's done so that way maybe in the future you all can do it. So stay with us and we'll get after it. Guys, so we are here now. We've got the deer skull in the pot and the temperature is nearing 200 degrees. We're going to let it get to its boiling point and then we're going to pull it back a little bit and let it simmer for a while and then we'll start digging it up, pulling the skull out and scraping off some of the meat that was left after I skinned it. Um, and we've got some Clorox in there with it and some dishwashing liquid to help with the cleaning process of it. So uh, hopefully not too much longer and we'll be getting it out and letting it scrape some of the meat off of it and get it back in and hopefully get to dip it shortly. So. Just got it out of the pot and uh, got it cleaned up pretty good. It's looking pretty good, so we think we're about ready for the uh, first paint job. Uh, from here, we're, we're doing the hydro dip. So we're gonna do a base layer of paint on it. We're gonna just do a base wipe. Paint it real good and white and let it dry off, dry real good. And um, then we will start the dipping process so uh, we're pretty pleased with how the bowl job done we was able to get almost every bit of the loose meat and tendon off of it uh, we're going to do some precautionary glue on this uh, the remaining nose bone right here to make sure it don't break off and it's a little more sturdy over the years so uh, the teeth, we was able to maintain all the teeth, uh, and they're good and firm in there. None of them's loose. So uh, that's the good thing. We had read that bowling uh, can cause bone brittleness and the teeth to fall out. So we're, we're glad that we didn't overdo the temperature and time. So uh, we're pretty happy with how it's turned out. So we're going to get this first layer of paint on it and... So this is the first coat of paint. We're just going to do a white base coat. I'm going to try and make it smooth. We've got the antlers taped up so that way we don't get the almost paint. Looking pretty good. It's the first coat of the base coat of white. It's good. Oh yeah. Should be good right there. So 
turn. Most people live like this. I know it. Well, that one's pretty daggone good, too. 